Pete, we are having a little play around Cumbria and the Lake District. Look at the bloody views, absolutely amazing. And the downside is I've got that big galoot in front of me, Taffy Apple. So if you can find his channel, he's got no videos on it, but give him a subscribe, make an old man happy. And don't forget, if you haven't done it already, hit my subscribe button because I need to get to a thousand followers. So do it. Shaggers. We are currently en route to, oh, we're going to head to Windermere. So we're just on one of the A roads near there. And it is an absolute delight to ride it. I like it a lot. Oh, I need to stand up. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, so arse. Oh, I have actually been in there for lunch. I remember that a while back. Bit of brown sugar. Hey there, brown sugar. <laughs> cheesy bikes. Gillies, welcome to Gillies Cheesy Bikes. I'm sweating your balls off, that's how hot I am. <laughs> we are in Windermere and I am standing up to stretch the legs off. Oh, Now I'm getting used to standing up on this bad boy now as well. <laughs> I will say, <laughs> it's absolutely rammed today, isn't it? I have done about, I don't know, 80 miles or something like that. My fuel tank has gone down by one bar and it still says I've got 212 miles in the tank. So, my bike has plenty in the tank. <laughs> As per normal, taff has gone the wrong way. The story of our lives, this. Even with the sat-nav, he goes the wrong way. Oh, that's beautiful. Just don't you be slowing down while I'm looking to me left, though. Now, see, I love these little country lanes. Not loads of traffic on them. The road quality is really nice. It's nice and smooth, isn't it? It's nice and smooth and there's, uh, there's barely any straight bits. They're all kind of twisting and you're pretty much always on some kind of bend. So on recommendation from Gilly Bikes and Taffy Apple's biggest fan, that is Jason he says we've got to try this road because it's amazing so stay tuned keep watching and we'll see and for those of you that know the area it's called Kirkstone Pass this is the type of road as well you don't necessarily have to blast down to enjoy it because the scenery is brill isn't it you can actually enjoy it at a nice slow pace and you know, you're not going to miss anything. The GS Brigade, hello. Yes. That is delicious. Wow. Yeah, that is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? That is a lovely little valley. Oh, look at the state of that. Just absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, oh, there's quite a few sheep kind of just milling about though, isn't there? You don't want to be taken out by a woolly jumper. Oh! It is, and we're going quite high up here. I hope you don't suffer with altitude sickness. Oh, 
we just keep going. Oh. I'm going to leave myself a little bit of distance from your bike so we've got some distance for you to actually talk about it okay so as promised we're going to have a look around Taff's bike so Taff what have you got? So um, this is a phase of 1000, 2005 plate, about 15 and a half thousand on clock. It's virtually it's mint, it's absolutely pristine as you can see. Two for, got a few upgrades, um, mainly colour coding, as you can see here, logo, side panels, belly pan, um, and put a different exhaust on it, polished, polished the full exhaust. Completely polished all the way through, as you can see underneath it. You've got the full pipe works going on. It's got an RR BMW shock on it with overrated spring. The forks have been dropped 10 millimeters, and I want to put some K Tech springs in. Just, just a little bit when you're tuning the pan is on, it's just a little bit, um, a bit soft. The one was in Scotland on the MC500, bottomed out and smashed my hair on. Luckily, I've got paint protection on. The place. Oh, let's have a look at that. From a place in Lee called Invisible Patterns. Yeah, really, so you, really, really good. You can only see it close up, can't you? But you it, can it's see poly, it's a the... polyurethane finish, and it's oh. very, very good. I recommend anybody to have that on the bikes. Um, it is 1200, oh, it's not, it's a 1000cc, so I'm saying. They do do a 600cc. Um, it's got, I put heater grips on it. And oh. Renfalls on it. Old school clocks. Old school clocks, yeah. Um, I've had the wheels powder coated, which was a complete nightmare. I won't do it again. See, look, old school here. You, what have you got there on that side? You've got like two buttons on that side. Yeah. And about three on that side. That's it. Dead In easy. fact, is that a choke as well? Yeah, I've got a choke as well there. Oh, proper old school. Choke, yeah. Not an automatic um, choke. Yeah, um, basically been looked after polished lots of things have been done with it like the wheels are very coated you can see the shine on the wheels oh let's Somewhere have a look you get that or not oh, can actually see they are very sparkly very i don't sparkly. know if it comes over as well on the phone camera but that looks absolutely mint put new pads on it put all um rainbow stuff on it Rainbow brake pads. Um, changed all the nuts. Polished all the little nuts and bolts. Put caps on it. These have been powder coated, clear powder coated. What's that? The, um, the stanchions at the back. Polished. Right. Been polished. Right. Polished and powder coated. You can clear powder coat. My friend Gaz Umphis does that from Cobra Coatings in St. Helens. He's very good. Okay, so you've done you've done a lot of kind of updating and yeah. kind of reconditioning has, with yeah, the parts, it's, haven't you? Yeah. It's got the exhaust on. That's that. That's all all world legal. No, no, I'm not saying it's not road legal. I'm saying it's not standard with the bike, is it? It's an upgrade. No, no, getting no. your pipe works on. It's an upgrade. It's got fast flow exhaust, fast flow air filter, K N air filter. I think it's had part of the Ivan's jet kit on it. Um, I think I think it's possibly got one of them on it because the way it takes off and handles. And spoken like a typical biker, when I ask him about what upgrades he has on, he says it's all road legal. It is, that's road legal. So right? defensive. It's all road legal. I'm not saying it's not. <laughs> it's so defensive. Well, you know, um, yeah, it's, it's all legal. It's all, it's it's all, all legal. Um, I've got Bridgestone T30. Backlax tires oh on it. We've got all sparkly back tire, all back wheel as well. Even the powder coat of the discs as well. Yeah, I like it. It's very glittery. 
Yeah, it sounds very nice. I'll start it for you. And I can't believe how bloody clean it is. Even like the notorious dirty bits under here. It, yeah. Even though we're look, on... on, look underneath it. You can see what I powder coated the dog the dog bones. I can see just looking around everywhere on this bike. It and is absolutely spotless the everywhere. Been, the stand's been done as well. Considering we're about 100 miles into a ride today as well, everything just looks pristine. So go on, start us up. <laughs> right, so let's give it some revs, lads. <laughs> Right, and if, if you're interested in buying this bike, um, it's not for sale, trust me. <laughs> yeah, he'd never sell it. This is his baby. I think he'll this keep this soon. forever. This if he buys, this will be a classic soon. This it'll be a RDLC money soon. We shall see. We we'll shall see. It's mint. Yeah, it is absolutely it's got, mint. It's well got looked after. Not clock. Yeah, you're not selling it. No, no, see. But still, 15 year old bike and it looks like it's straight out of the showroom. Looks absolutely amazing. So, anyway, if you're interested in more content like this, hit the subscribe button for me, Gilly Bikes, and also my good friend, Taffy Apple. He'll be putting some more stuff on as well. Similar stuff to this. And it's a thumbs up from the big man himself. It was, that was absolutely lovely, that little stop then. A nice, cool, non-alcoholic beverage. I know, I've just had to undo my jacket a bit to get some air in because it is sweltering. Bloody, this is the kind of weather that I'd go to south of France for. Being in kind of early 30s like this. This is absolutely glorious weather. Oh, I can see a, another lake down there as well. Don't know which one that is. I know, how beautiful is that? Can see the road that we're going down. Probably struggle to see it on the GoPro, but it looks, it's very uh, Apple Cross-esque. You, you know, you look down from above and you can see the road you've just been up. It's very similar to what I can see now coming down here. And it is an absolute beautiful, beautiful bit of road. I think Jason's uh, very right. It was a very good suggestion that we go and try this road because this is absolutely stunning. It's one of those roads, isn't it, where you, if you blasted through here, giving it the beans, you'd miss all of this lovely scenery. You'd kind of, you wouldn't be able to take it in. And in fairness, these roads, I, they're not, I don't think they'd be particularly friendly for a blast either. They're a bit bumpy. I do like having the visor up as well, so I'm getting a bit of a breeze. And me, me top's open at the top, so I can get a bit of a breeze there as well. Genuinely, I'd love to live round here. It's another nice little pub, isn't it? We just stop and have pints everywhere, shouldn't we? Turn it into Gilly Bikes and Taffy Apples Pub Crawl of Ambleside. You say